In this video, I will show you how to visualize correlations to help determine whether to calculate Pearson or Spearman correlations. First, we will load the Haven, Tidyverse, GGAlly, and Psych packages, and then load in the Harry Potter dataset. Next, we'll use the score items function from the psych package to uh, make personality uh, mean scores for each participant. And finally, what we'll do is we'll create integer variables that are ordinal. Um, and what we'll do is we'll cast one of the labeled variables created by Haven from the labeled type to the integer type. So I will just pick two at random. So we'll pick the uh, five-factor model question one, and we will cast that to uh, be an integer. And we'll also select, let's say, um, five-factor model 15, and we'll also cast that to become an integer. And next, we'll use the tidyverse and the ggally packages to quickly visualize these correlations. So we'll start with dataset, and we'll pipe that to the select command. And we'll select, let's say, openness, this one continuous variable. Let's pick a second continuous variable, let's say conscientiousness. And we'll pick our two ordinal variables, ffm1 and FFM 15. And finally, we'll just pipe this, these columns to the command ggpairs from the ggally package. Now in the top section, ggpairs prints out the correlations between variables. On the diagonal, ggpairs shows the density plot for each variable. You can see the density plots for the personality variables are smooth, but the density plot for FFM1 and FFM15 have a series of peaks. Those peaks are a good clue that these variables are ordinal rather than continuous. Now take a look at the bottom section. These are scatter plots of the correlations between each variable. You can see the scatter plots between the personality variables look like a cloud. This means those variables are continuous and you can use a Pearson correlation. But look at the correlations between the ordinal variables. It just looks like dots on a grid. That's a good clue that you have two discrete variables and should use a Spearman correlation. Finally, look at the correlations between the personality variables and the ordinal variables. All the dots are placed on a line. You can see dots on the line for 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, but no dots between those values. This is a good clue that one variable is ordinal and you should use a Spearman correlation.